Hello and welcome to the tutorial in the slide 3 Rock Science. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to draw a simple slope and how to calculate the factor of safety for that slope. So in the first step, you need to draw it first and I'm going to draw a surface. So in this geometry tab, you can draw a polyline. You can select or enter the coordinate from this text box or users enter it in the table. So I append the table for four rows because I have four points. For the first point, I have the coordinate is 0, 0, 10. The second one is 0, hang on, should be 10, 0, 10. So it go horizontally. And in the next one, I have is 15, 0, 5. So it go down by 45 degree. And it go um, horizontally again by 10 meter. And that is. So after that, you can click on done to finish sketching. So you can see that you have a zigzag line for the slope over here in the isometric view and four other project views. Now, what I need to do is I need to extrude it this way to get a 3D surface. So I just click on the polyline I did and I use extrude. And I extrude in the Y direction by, for example, 30 meters. So here will be our slope surface. In the next step, I need to create a region and then after that, assign the material to the region I just created. So, in the geometry, you need to click on the surface first and then in geometry, create external form surface. Now, it's going to create the, ex the region from a certain depth and here, if the bottom elevation is 2, so I just make it by 0. You also can do by the depth from the surface if you want to. So here is my region. Now in the next step, I need to define material. I click on material and define material. In this, we have some default materials and I just edit them for my purpose. So click on the material I want and change anything I want. So I can choose any of this uh, file criterion, but for a simple slope, I just use more column. And I enter the value for that. So the cohesion, I enter 10 kpi. For five, I did it 30. I don't have any tensile strength because soil is so weak in tension. I also can do the unsaturated and water parameter, but in here, I just have very simple slope. So I try to keep it consistent. Press OK. Now, in the next step, I need to assign materials. So click on material and assign material to assign directly. Or in some time, when you have the complicated geometry, you can use a cutting plane. So assign materials using cutting plane. As you can see here, you have a cutting plane which can move, which can be moved or can be rotated. So in case you have complicated geometry with many layers, you can just simply move your cutting plane to the position you want and then assign the material you want. So in here, I have only one reason. So I click on material one and assign to it. It's already here. In case I do it wrong, I just use no material, click on the region and select the material I want, assign it again. Now I have done everything with the geometry. In the next step, I'm going to define the slip surface. So in the first step, I'm going to guide you how to do it manually. So in here, I'm going to use the user defined surface. I'm going to create one and I don't cut off. I assume that the depth is infinite long and I just click on OK. Now I can just use add a sphere 
to define the slip surface. So for example, I click on sphere and get the center of this should be 18, y should be 15, 15, and the radius is 12. So you can see from here, your surface go up uh, before it reaches the boundary condition. And that is now I done. So I go to analysis and then compute. Before I can compute it, I need to save it. So I save it as a test file and compute. Yep, now it's already done. So you can see here is our uh, slip surface and here our safety factor, which is about three. Uh, now, in the next step, I'm going to use uh, the search option. So I click on slip surface option and I try to use a search option. And I use ellipsoid and I use a cuckoo search. Uh, by default okay and just compute again so it will go by two rounds in the first round it's going to calculate with some iterations and in the second round it's going to do some optimization so because I have my uh, screen recording on at the background so therefore, it will take me a little bit longer than it should. Normally, if I don't record the screen, it takes me about 10 to 20 seconds for the searching. But because I have the background recording, so it may take me about more than one minute. So up to two minutes, yeah. So after two minutes, I have the result, which will be this ellipsoid uh, slide, and my factor of safety reduced to 1.55. So it's just above the standard. Uh, so in a nutshell, uh, the ellipsoid slide is closer to the 2D analysis why the spherical slide can take some advantage of the some small movement of some small soil volume. And that is for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next video.